Sunbowl. News and the Sunbowl Association welcome you to the 83rd annual Oscar Leaser's Hyundai of El Paso Sunbowl Parade. Your hosts, KTSM 9's Daniel Marie, Natasia Paloma, and from the Sunbowl Association, Bernie Olivas, and the KTSM 9 News Team. And now from the KTSM 9 News Mobile Studio, here are your hosts. Good morning. Happy Thanksgiving, everyone. We are live from the 83rd annual Oscar Leasers Hyundai of El Paso's Sun Bowl Parade. Uh, thanks for joining us this morning. You can see the parade is about to start. Families are lining the streets, waiting to catch a glimpse of the beautiful floats that we'll see here today. Thank you so much for joining us this morning. I'm Natasha Paloma. And I'm Daniel Marin. Happy Thanksgiving to everybody watching at home. And happy Thanksgiving to everybody watching on KTSM.com right now. You know what? The weather is actually not too bad right now on. yeah the, the rain has stopped it's just a slight drizzle but that's going to be going away soon yeah you can see everybody bundled up there <laughs> also joining us is executive director of the Sun Bowl Association Bernie Olivas Bernie thank you so much for joining us here today oh it's always a pleasure looking forward to a tremendous parade like I said I've seen I've seen the the, the, the floats start build from the beginning all the way to the end and the, you have some tremendous floats people are going to be amazed at, uh, at at some of the some of the features on these floats obviously with bobbleheads on every float so looking forward to this parade hope everybody else is as well let's go ahead and check in with chief meteorologist monica cortez let's get a check on that weather monica is along the parade route hey monica hey good morning daniel natasia well we are here a little bit of a drizzle nice little breeze coming on down so it is going to feel a little colder than it actually is if you haven't come down to the parade just yet make sure that you bring your rain gear bundle up it is feeling a little chilly but as you can see plenty of people did make it out to the parade very exciting this kind of has a festive feel to it here on this Thanksgiving day so it is perfect weather for today of course we're ready to see all the beautiful floats that people have worked so hard on for so many months so I'm very excited about it we'll be talking to a few El Pasoans here across the uh, parade route to see what their thoughts on it are but of course that'll be a little later in this parade Daniel Natasia all right thank you Monica and you can see all the families there the kids with big smiles on their faces Bernie this is a tradition for many El Pasoans you know, 83 years is a long time, you know, and, and you're right. Uh, families, kids, they grow up, they have kids, they bring them to the parade. They grow up and have kids, mm -hmm. and they bring them out to the parade. And over over 83 years, a lot of generations have, mm -hmm. have come and they conti continue to come. So, again, uh, it's, it's, it's a family tradition, and I hope it continues for another 83 years. All right, and let's go out to the parade route. Our very own Estefania Safer, she is out there right now. Hey, Estefania. Hey guys, yeah, we're talking 83 years. That's a really long time, as Bernie just mentioned, and people aren't gonna break the streak just because of rain or any weather for that matter. And so all you have to do is really bundle up. That's what everyone here has done. All those jackets and really cool winter outfits that you really can't wear in El Paso because it's usually pretty hot. And now is the time to wear it. Check it out. Everyone here brought their tents, their jackets, their blankets, basically anything you can keep or think of to keep warm is out here on this parade route because people aren't gonna miss this. This is where memories are made. We can see lots of families, lots of little kids, and it's actually pretty funny. I've seen a lot of newborns bundled up in their strollers. Like I said, people don't want to miss this parade. This is where traditions and memories are made. So if you're thinking about whether or not you should come down here, yes, we'll make room for you. There's plenty of room for you guys to enjoy the parade. It looks like it's about to start too. So throughout the parade, we'll be interviewing the people along the route just to bring you their stories of their memories or traditions on this Thanksgiving day and of them coming to this parade. And so just stay tuned because you may just watch your family and friends on a live TV. Back to you guys. All right. Thank you very much, Stephanie. And it looks like we are getting ready to start. We have the Fort Bliss Color Guard right now on the parade route. The first of the 77th Armored Regiment, 3rd Armored Division Brigade under the direction of Sergeant First Class Grinder. All right. We're also going to hear the national anthem. It's going to be played by the 1st Armored Division and Fort Bliss Band under the direction of Chief Warrant Officer Michael J. Moore. You can see there that's Oscar Leaser's Hyundai of El Paso Sun Bowl Thanksgiving Day Parade banner. And all banners today are carried by the U.S. Army Recruiting Company. I do want to mention that the 1st Armored Division Band here, you're just going to hear in just a moment, they have been a part of this Thanksgiving Day Parade for more than 30 years.
And that was the first armored division army band and the band you'll hear them play holiday melodies along the parade route today so bernie many of, of these groups many of the people that you'll see here they've been in the parade for decades lots of them have uh, and you can see a lot of our volunteers i know jim lawrence our term the chairman this is his 50th year working on the Sun Bowl pr on the wow. Thanksgiving parade. Wow. Uh, he's a tremendous individual and I go, you know, got to uh, give a shout out to him. 50 years of uh, working on this parade and he has done a great job and he helps people learn. He teaches people how to build flows. It's, it's not an easy task. It takes months to, p to prepare something like this to make sure it is safe. Uh, it has to ask, uh, pass several inspections by the police officers, by the fire department, make sure it's safe. And again, he has done a tremendous job of teaching people how to do things right. So a uh, uh, big shout out to Jim Lawrence, our, our, turn, our parade chairman. Yeah, and a lot of volunteer work goes into this as well, right? Building the floats. They spend hours. Hours and hours yeah. and thousands of hours. And we have a tremendous volunteer uh, group that we call our, our float building committee. And uh, like you said, hours and hours of, of uh, putting the little touches to all these all these. Things. And here we go, ladies and gentlemen. The 83rd Annual Oscar Leasers Sunday of El Paso Sunday Parade is officially underway now. As we begin marching down Montana Avenue. Again, the parade route goes from Ochoa to Copia, as it does year after year. And you're looking and listening to right now to the 1st Armored Division Army Band once again. We just heard their beautiful rendition of the Star Spangled Banner just a moment ago. I love watching all the kids because they're clapping, they're happy, they're excited. The weather isn't bothering them very much. It, it, it doesn't. <laughs> I'm seeing a couple of young girls here without even a jacket on. So, uh, yeah, they, they're here to watch the parade and the uh, weather is the farthest thing from their mind. Here is our first float of the parade. This is the Thanksgiving Day Turkey, obviously. Wow. This is made by the Sun Bowl Association volunteers and staff. Uh, the wings are actually motorized to make them flap up and down. And the head, you can tell, it's the beak right there. It's also motorized. He is actually... I don't know if you can hear him. He's, he's, he's saying happy Thanksgiving to everybody. Each feather on this float was hand cut and painted out of styrofoam and upholstery foam. Each cornucopia strand of the basket that you see there was also hand cut and woven. And all of those vegetables you see at the front, those were handcrafted from styrofoam and painted to depict the actual veggies. Okay, and a little bit earlier, we saw Oscar Leeser. Uh, he is the title sponsor of the parade. He was uh, marching alongside of Colonel Matthew L. Eichberg, 1st Armored Division Acting Senior Commander and Command Sergeant Major Robert Cobb, also 1st Armored uh, Division, Division Command Sergeant Major. And here we're seeing some of the vehicles coming down some of the military vehicles here. Uh, what we're going to see here, we're going to see, let's see here. Um, all right, so we're going to have a, a different vehicles Lots here. Lots of different vehicles. Yeah. We have a list here of what we're going to see. So we're going to have an Abrams on a HET. That's provided by the 3rd Brigade 1st Armored Division Heavy Equipment Transporter. Mm -hmm. um, and the Bradley was designed to transport infantry or scouts with armor protection while providing covering uh, fire to suppress enemy troops and armored vehicles. All right, you know, there we have This has been such a, such a big partner of the Sumble throughout right. the years that we are... We are extremely happy that they still come out every Thanksgiving and, and, and show the citizens of El Paso, you know, some of the stuff that they do. Uh, and it's, it's just a, a really good thing to have them out here. Hey, that bobblehead looks familiar. Such a big <laughs> <laughs> There you go. Yeah, there's Oscar Leeser's Hyundai of El Paso float. It's El Paso Strong honoring our first responders. And I love it. There you can see in that Genesis G90, you see his mom, Roberta, and his wife, Lisa. Now, the pedestal is surrounded by trophies that show all of the years that El Paso was chosen as an all-America city. That was 1969, 2010, 
and 2018. Of course, that award, All-America City, given by the National Civic League. It honors cities that have great civic engagement within their community. Oscar Leeser, he did team up with Cathedral High School and Clint High School, their art departments, actually. They painted some of the murals that are honoring our first responders that you see right there on the side of the float. Yeah, you can see all the decals right there with paramedics, El Paso police, all the different law enforcement agencies. Uh, Bernie, you have the inside track. How do they get the bobbleheads to balance? They got some springs in there, large springs, I would imagine? Some of them are springs and some of them are actually motorized uh, okay. to, oh, to wow. make them go up and down. Uh, I think these are these are our, our motorized right here. I think uh, Roberta and Lisa are motorized, while uh, 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 Oscar's is a, is, a, is a huge spring that makes them bobble up and down. By the way, Richard Glass is the sculptor of a lot of these these uh, the, the automobile, like the, the Genesis right there, almost an exact uh, replica, and he sculptures it by hand. So a big shout out to Richard Glass as well. And we're seeing a little bit of the crowds there. Some vehicles there from Oscar Leeser's Sunday of El Paso on your screen. And he's this year's uh, parade sponsor. Tell us a little bit about that. How do you go about uh, picking a parade sponsor? Well, you know, Oscar was our sponsor, you know, and, and Hyundai was our sponsor of the, of the football game for nine years. And when the contract ran out, all of a sudden we lost a uh, we lost our, our, our old title sponsor for the parade and uh, having lunch one time. And I said, Oscar. Why don't you become the sponsor of the parade and continue what you do uh, for the thing, city of El Paso? And he does so much stuff for the city of El Paso that he said, you know what? Let me think about it. He didn't think about it very long. He yeah. said, yes, I'll do it. So we're extremely happy to have him. Uh, he's done so many wonderful things for, the, for our city. There's McGruff, the crime-fighting dog right there on top of that uh, Fort Bliss military vehicle right there, the MPs. Yeah, it's a professional civilian and military response organization that plans, directs, and conducts first-class law enforcement, fire, and emergency medical services. You can hear them there. Okay, now some of the military vehicles that Natasha was mentioning. I'm excited to see. We're going to have a Patriot missile launcher. <laughs> I'm excited to see that. They're, uh, you know, with the football players, we take them out to Fort Bliss for an afternoon with the troops, and they, they're amazed at some, uh, at some of the uh, equipment that our, youth, our military uses. Uh, and I'm, I'm just, a, you know, as flabbergasted as anybody else to see how these people operate and, uh, and how, how they work. A little bit about Fort Bliss. Fort Bliss has actually been serving the greater El Paso region since 1849. In 1854, the Army Post was named in honor of Lieutenant Colonel W.W.S. Bliss, a scholar and an aide to President Zachary Taylor. Fort Bliss is actually comprised of more than 167, five, uh, 167,000 soldiers. Department of Army civilians, family members, and retirees. With over 1.1 million acres, Fort Bliss is recognized as the number one post of military value by the Department of the Army. And, okay, and we're seeing an Abrams uh, tank right there. And all the kids just amazed by these <laughs> big vehicles. Right in on top of a heavy equipment transporter. And Colonel Eichberg is the acting commander for the 1st Armored Division and Fort Bliss, Texas. And again, many years in this parade, Fort Bliss. Oh, uh, again, way over 30 years yeah. and way over since I've been around here because I, uh, again, I've been watching this parade for over 50 years and uh, they have always been part of this parade and can't thank them enough for what they do, not only for the parade, but for our country and for the world. So uh, extremely excited to have Fort Bliss part of the parade every year. Bernie, let's talk about the theme. We saw the bobbleheads uh, a short time ago. How did you all come up with the theme? How do you go about choosing a theme? You know, as, as soon as the, uh, the football game is over in January, Joe Dabach, our, our special events director, and I get together. First thing we do is look at all our past uh, themes, and then we go to other parades and see what themes they've used. And, you know, sometimes we'll copy them, sometimes we won't, but we want to be unique in what we do. And we never found anybody that had a bobblehead theme parade. And uh, we went with that. And again, part of the requirements is that every float has to have a bobblehead on it. And I think it's tremendous. You're going to see some of the some of the some great floats, some great bobbleheads along this parade. And uh, again, that's how we start. We start with an idea. It, it, we don't do it overnight. 
uh, it takes it takes a while for us to finally come down with one. I think we I think uh, Joe and and some will hit a hit the jackpot with this one. Talk about the crowd. It's growing and growing. As I look growing. over to the street, it's growing and growing. You've been walking the street, you said, since 6 a.m., and you saw people lined up here early. Early. You know what? What I was really surprised me that I drove down the parade route about 11 o'clock last night, and people yeah. were camping out. That's one thing I did not expect to see this year because of the weather. Uh -huh. right. But they were camped out all the way down Montana to make sure they had a great seat for today's parade. You know what? It's not too bad the weather out here, so you still have plenty of time to make it out to the 83rd annual Oscar Leasers Hyundai of El Paso Sun Bowl Parade. As these military vehicles move on through, we're going to take a quick break. We will be right back. Black Friday savings here at Oscar Leasers Hyundai of El Paso. Check out these doorbuster deals. Save 5000 off MSRP on new Sonatas. That's our biggest discount of 2019. 5000 off MSRP on brand new Sonatas. Save thousands in interest with 0% APR for 72 months on 2020 Elantras and Santa Fe's. No interest for six years. Skip the lines. Hyundai of El Paso has hundreds of new Hyundais with Black Friday savings now through month end. My Oscar is such a good boy. The ultimate Black Friday starts today. At El Paso Honda, every day in November is Black Friday. Get clearance pricing on a new 2019 Civic LX for $99 a month or get 1.9% APR for 36 months. in today at El Paso Honda. It's the biggest sale of the year going on now exclusively at Poe Toyota. Drive home a new 2019 RAV LE for $249 a month or get $1,500 cash back. You can get Black Friday savings all month long at Poe Toyota. Black Friday savings here at Oscar Leasers Hyundai of El Paso. Check out these doorbuster deals. Save 5000 off MSRP on new Sonatas. That's our biggest discount of 2019. 5000 off MSRP on brand new Sonatas. Save thousands in interest with 0% APR for 72 months on 2020 Elantras and Santa Fe's. No interest for six years. Skip the lines. Hyundai of El Paso has hundreds of new Hyundais with Black Friday savings now through month end. My Oscar is such a good boy. It's the biggest sale of the year going on now exclusively at Poe Toyota. Drive home a new 2019 Camry LE for $209 a month or get $2,500 cash back. You can get Black Friday savings all month long at Poe Toyota. The ultimate Black Friday starts today. At El Paso Honda, every day in November is Black Friday. Drive a new 2019 CRV LX for $199 a month or get 1.9% APR for 36 months. Hurry in today at El Paso Honda. And welcome back to the 83rd annual uh, Oscar Leasers Hyundai of El Paso Sun Bowl Parade. I'm Daniel Marin with Natasha Paloma and Bernie Olivas of the Sun Bowl Association. As we may have, um, I see Sparky behind us, right behind oh us yeah, in there uh, you know. <laughs> the Fort Bliss Fire Department right there. Yeah, it was established in 1903 and takes great pride in protecting those that defend our, our America, our soldiers and their families. So there they are passing there. The department has 131 firefighters, fire inspectors, and 911 dispatchers and administrative staff, and they're protecting over 2,200 offices and nearly 4,000 residences. I want to talk about the weather a little bit more. You know what? It is not as bad as we were anticipating, as, as yeah. many people thought. And you know what? We can see the crowd is growing, Bernie. I think people are, are tuning in and seeing, hey, you know what? It's not too bad. We should head on down there. Absolutely. I think they just, you know, they knew that it was going to get, it was going to be kind of, uh, you know, moist this morning. <laughs> so I said, we'll wait till this rain stops, and then we'll go out there. But it is growing. I can, you can tell right off, you know, right off the bat. It is getting bigger and bigger by the minute. Well, there is our Grand Marshal right there. He is Ron Stallworth, of course. He is the author and the hero of the Black Klansman story. He was a Colorado Springs Police Department detective who infiltrated the KKK. Spike Lee made a movie about him, and uh, that was actually an Oscar-winning movie. It won Best Adapted Screenplay. It looks like Monica Cortez is rolling up alongside them, so let's go ahead and send things over to Monica. Um, don't you're let me know when we're up. Oh, this you're right. basically like <laughs> a message. Hey. Monica, can you hear me? Yeah, you're up. Go ahead, Monica. Here with the Grand Marshal, Ron Stallworth. It's such an honor to be here with you guys. So real quickly, how does it feel to be here, be part of this parade? It feels wonderful. I'm with my wife. I'm with my, poor, my grandson. We're having a ball. <laughs> and we're with the people of El Paso. What, what more could you ask for? Amazing. So what would you tell the people at home watching this morning? They should be out here just like everyone else is. <laughs> this is fun. We're wet, we're cold, 
but we're having a ball. <laughs> awesome. Thank you guys so much. Happy Thanksgiving. Nia, happy Thanksgiving. Estefania. We have been roaming the sidewalks along Montana, and I came across Gloria Cruz here and her daughter, Samantha, who have made it a tradition to come to this parade every single year. So tell me how many years that's been. That I can remember, at least I've been coming to my grandmother's house for about 40 years and counting. All right. And so, so there's a little bit of history between this parade and, and your grandma's house, right? That's right. My, ha my grandmother's house has been um, in history for at least over 100 years. I know that it's tied to uh, politics back in the days. Um, it was part of a big politics politician and um, she was caregiver and was uh, given the opportunity to purchase a few homes so we've kind of made history with her to go ahead and keep the tradition going to you know open up the house and allow other people to come just because we know how crazy it is out here so we're not the kind of people that block the sidewalk so that nobody can sit we share for everybody to come in and what's, enjoy <laughs> what's been your favorite memory I mean so many years of, of being outside of your grandma's house to watch the parade I think my favorite memory is my childhood and it was during a Thanksgiving when it was snowing and um, we went ahead and we were sitting out on a sofa with warm-ups and blankets in the snow. <laughs> awesome. Yeah, guys, like, like Daniel mentioned, people uh -huh. are, are coming, so it's like they took advantage of our opportunity and our invite to say that we'd make room for them. Monica, how's it look out there? All right. <laughs> Thank you so much. Uh, Monica was running out of cord there. She, she needed to jump off of that truck quickly. We'll check back in with her in just a moment right now. You can see behind us, we have the sheriff's yeah. posse. Santa uh, has arrived. Santa's yeah. here. I mean, Santa's holidays are here. <laughs> Christmas season kicks off right after Thanksgiving, right? Uh, the El Paso County Sheriff's Posse, who you see passing behind us, they've been participating in this parade for all 83 years that this parade has been in existence. The Sheriff's Posse is the oldest continuously operated posse in the nation. It was founded in 1936. It's got 12 to 15 posse members. They take, uh, of course, they're riding on horseback, you see right there. Now, they have a mission to protect the Sun Queen and her court, our Sun Court, of course, who we're going to be seeing and hear from a little bit later in this parade. This posse right there, they're riding an original serial-numbered Abbott Downey stagecoach that you just saw just past a moment ago. That was built more than 120 years ago. These are also a big part of the tradition, Bernie. Absolutely. 83 years. That's one of two groups that has been in this parade all 83 What's years. What's the other? The Lions Club, mm -hmm. who actually started, started this parade, mm -hmm. has, has also participated in this parade 83 years. And uh, again, they never get old. It's, it's just fun to watch the, you know, the, uh, the, the sheriff's posse out here every year. All right, we're looking at the 2019 Sun Court. This float was sponsored by Simon Properties and Cielo Vista Mall. It was built by the Sun Bowl Association Float Committee. It is 45 feet long. It's built into two pieces around a Dodge Ram truck, and it's hinged together with two-inch thick bolts, allowing both sections to move separately, and they just look so beautiful up there. The Sun Queen is Elizabeth Vega. She's a senior at the University of Texas at El Paso. She's majoring in marketing, and she has maintained a four 4.0 GPA. She is the daughter of Angela Olivas and Manuel Vega. Our 2019 lady in waiting is Diana Martinez. So you can see the Sun Queen there, Elizabeth Vega. And we also have the Sun Princesses. They're Allison McLean, Brianna Guerrero, Brittany Baffert, Carla Viesca, Jalen Plasencia, Caitlin Crawford, Lauren Flores, Lindsay Myers. Mackenzie Cochran and Paige Dorsey. So it is so great to see them out there. So beautiful. They a dream for many little girls. Absolutely. They, and they go through an extensive interview process in order to be selected to be on the Sun Court. And they do a tremendous job. All of these are college, are college girls who go to not only here in UTEP, but around the country. And, uh, and they do a tremendous job as our ambassadors. Ambassadors to the Sun City. All right. There we have some of the young Border Patrol explorers. We want to welcome them to the parade as they make their way down Montana Avenue. And some of the Border Patrol right there on horseback. Uh, we will be right back. You're not going to miss anything. We've got to take one more quick break, but we'll see you in just a second. Black Friday savings here at Oscar Leaser's Hyundai of El Paso. Check out these doorbuster deals. Save 5000 off MSRP on new Sonatas. That's our biggest discount of 2019. 5000 off MSRP on brand new Sonatas. Save thousands in interest with 0% APR for 72 months on 2020 Elantras and Santa Fe's. No interest for six years. Skip the lines. Hyundai of El Paso has hundreds of new Hyundais with Black Friday savings now through month end. My Oscar. 
He's such a good boy. It's the biggest sale of the year going on now exclusively at Poe Toyota. Drive home a new 2019 RAV LE for $249 a month or get $1,500 cash back. You can get Black Friday savings all month long at Poe Toyota. The ultimate Black Friday starts today. At El Paso Honda, every day in November is Black Friday. Drive a new 2019 HRV LX for $189 a month or get 1.9% APR for 36 months. Hurry in today at El Paso Honda. Black Friday savings here at Oscar Leaser's Hyundai of El Paso. Check out these doorbuster deals. Save 5000 off MSRP on new Sonatas. That's our biggest discount of 2019. 5000 off MSRP on brand new Sonatas. Save thousands in interest with 0% APR for 72 months on 2020 Elantras and Santa Fe's. No interest for six years. Skip the lines. Hyundai of El Paso has hundreds of new Hyundais with Black Friday savings now through month end. My Oscar is such a good boy. The ultimate Black Friday starts today. At El Paso Honda, every day in November is Black Friday. Drive a new 2019 CRV LX for $199 a month or get 1.9% APR for 36 months. Hurry in today at El Paso Honda. It's the biggest sale of the year going on now exclusively at Poe Toyota. Drive home a new 2020 Corolla LE for $99 a month or get $1,500 cash back. You can get Black Friday savings all month long at Poe Toyota. Thank you for joining us for the 83rd annual Oscar Leasers Hyundai of El Paso Sun Bowl Parade. We have seen some floats go by. The, uh, the crowds are so happy. They're so excited. The weather is not bothering them at all. Absolutely not. It, and it's not. And it shouldn't because it's, it's gotten clear It's getting clear better. Again. It's actually it's getting a lot better, right? Again, uh, you can still come out and get towards, towards the end of the, of the parade route and see everything. Uh, it's a three-mile parade, uh, three-mile long parade, and uh, there's still plenty of time. Drive safely and just catch it from Piedras on to Copia, and you'll see a wonderful parade. The weather is nice. It's very yeah. fall-like. Exactly. It gets you into the spirit of Thanksgiving. When we're, whenever we're in July in a couple right. of months and we're all sweating, just we're remember, remember, remember how beautiful <laughs> today felt. <laughs> And then we have some more. Uh, we have Soul Studio. Yes. This is the first year in the parade, and their motto is building a better you through movement and music. It's home to a unique movement art classes and performing groups, including tribal belly dancing, capoeira, samba alma de fogo, and altogether there is 30 years experience performing in the U.S., Mexico, and Brazil areas. And look at that. You can see them performing there. Capoeira is a fast-moving martial art. You see them doing some uh, some flips and some kicks there. Also some drums. You can see the belly dancers' vibrant uh, attire there. Almost like the Florida dancers. Uh -huh. the, you know, the, the brightness of their, of their costumes. There you go. There's the Capoeira right there. And... Uh, Probably gonna be a little bit tired after this parade after doing that for three miles. Let's go ahead and send things back down to the parade route. Let's check in with Monica Cortez. Monica. Hey, so we're out here right in the middle of the parade. It's really fun, very loud as you can hear, and we're right waiting for the next one to come on through. It has been, it has stopped drizzling just a little bit. We're still feeling a little bit of this rain. So of course, if you haven't made it out, just know that we are going to be um, seeing some of this rain for the rest of the parade. It looks like a little chilly as well. And so this is the next one up. Check it out. Look at the detail. Very amazing. That's correct. And this is driving towards. And this bullet right here that you're looking at is driving towards a greener future presented by El Paso Electric. It features all five characters of the electric company. They are called the Power Pack. We have Curly, Sunny, LED, and Turbo. Now, those are all motorized bobbleheads. You were talking about motorized ones, Bernie, a while ago. Now, the Turbo's Turbo uh, Turbine, Turbo's Turbine, it actually Try rotates. Try saying that fast. Uh, that's, that's a tongue twister <laughs> on, on this early Thanksgiving morning. Uh, this float, though, is eco-friendly, we should say. Ernie G. Watts sitting at the top of the El Paso Electric Vehicle. And they had some SBA volunteers. They've been working on this for two months in order to make these characters come to life. Bernie, when were they assigned to the theme? Pardon? When was the theme assigned? When did you all announce the theme? Uh, February. February. In February. And uh, 
it might have been March this year. We'd, we'd like to get out by February, but I think it's only March. And uh, again, our, our, our Sun Bowl float building committee built that float. Again, all those bobbleheads are motorized so that they can move up and down. The lights go on and off. So it's been uh, it, it, it's another great float built by the Sun Bowl. And I got to tell you, these bobbleheads, they stand out. They're amazing. They are, yeah. they are good. It's, they're fantastic. We have Constable Luis Aguilar right there from precinct number four waving. And you are looking at right now, that is, this is hashtag free bends, uh, presented by First, uh, First Life Federal Credit Union. They say they're all about the Benjamins. All about the Benjamins. All about the Benjamins, baby, at First Life Federal Credit Union. This uh, First Life is actually giving new members $100 if they go and open a brand new account. There are some certain restrictions that apply, but just go to firstlight.org to find out more details. You can also take a selfie with Ben and use the hashtag FirstLightWin100 for your chance to score some cash. Now, this float actually replicates the architecture of the First Light branches. All right, now we're seeing East Lake High School, the Ranger Band. This is the first year they're participating in the parade. 160 members in this band, and they're directed under Daniel Vega. Absolutely, you know, and it's costly to bring bands down here, but with the, with the school districts, districts allow allow their bands to do is that they allow them to participate every other year. So we can't have all the bands, but every other year we have a new, a different set of bands, which is awesome. It gives these young youngsters a chance to, to walk down a parade right now, and, and I think they love it. Uh, they're talking to bad members, they love marching in parades, they love to play. Let's face it, they're musicians, they love to play, and, uh, and getting on a parade like this to let everybody see is tremendous for them as well. I remember taking part in this parade when I was, the the, drums, I was right? in the Hanks marching yeah. band. Yeah, I was on the drum line, and I was over in the 90s at some point. And uh, I did have a great time. It was a lot of fun. How many different instruments do you play? I know you told you just played the keyboard as well. I just played keyboard, yeah, and I played saxophone. But in uh, the drum line, I was uh, I played the snare drum. So that was lots of fun. I played the flute. So That's right. I'm looking Cortez. for my flute players Monica right Cortez there. Cortez played the flute also. <laughs> <laughs> Let's take a listen to the drum line for a bit. That is a big band at East Lake. One of the bigger schools in one of the newer parts of the city, of course. Way out on the east side. And that's, that is a huge high school band. Yeah, again, 160 members in this band. <gasps> All right, we know, we know who that is. <laughs> that is Mr. Tony the Tiger. And his float is titled Mission Tiger. It's built by the Sun Bowl Association volunteers also together. They're helping to bring back school sports because they say that kids deserve the chance to be a tiger on the field. They say that sports gives kids the skills that they need to help them succeed in life, things like patience, persistence, and the importance of teamwork. So Tony the Tiger wants to make sure that every kid has the chance to unleash their inner tiger. So he wants you to join him on his mission to help bring back school sports. A lot of uh, schools across the country are having to cut athletics programs yeah. because... 62% of middle schools in the country have no have no that's athletic programs. That's and that's what Mission Tiger is all about, to make people aware of this. And every every box that Frosted Flakes that is sold, part of that money goes to Mission Tiger. Right. That's, that's correct, yeah. For If you buy a box of Frosted Flakes to support Tony's mission, you just upload a receipt and to trigger a $1 donation to Mission Tiger. And then you also get a chance to win a $1,000 gift card, so that's not too bad. So Tony the Tiger trying to bring back sports. I know if I was little right now, I would be very excited to see Tony the Tiger in person. <laughs> I get excited <laughs> when, I, when I see Tony. There you go. Do you have any milk? Any right milk yes, we have. We, we brought, have we brought it all. We, we brought it all. We'll have some breakfast in a little bit. <laughs> there we go. All right, so we have the Texas Department of Public Safety coming up next. Uh, this is their sixth year in the parade. You can hear their sirens there, there behind us. This is the Texas Highway Patrol Division, and they are reminding everyone to stay safe throughout the year, and especially uh, during gatherings, holiday gatherings. You know, this is a time where you do have to uh, be a, a lot safer. Uh, again, they're reminding everyone not to drink and drive. Get a uh, designated driver, of course. Click it or ticket, and be careful with your speeding. 
Again, the Texas Department of Public Safety, those are the patrols there. And I believe our very own Monica Cortez, she is along the parade route. Hey, Monica. So I'm out here and I found this beautiful couple, El Pasoans here, Rubber Mendoza and his wife, Martha. So thank you so much for being here today. Thank you. Yeah, so, okay, tell me, who are you here for? We're here for the UTEP band mainly. My daughter is one of the drum majors and we have a son, trumpet player, also in the band. So we're here to watch the UTEP at March. That's awesome. So how are you braving the cold right now? Layers. <laughs> <laughs> Lots of layers. <laughs> and so what would you want a message to people at home watching nice and cozy? Hey Happy Thanksgiving. And you should be out here. It's really, I love this weather. And Happy Thanksgiving, though. <laughs> That's amazing. Thank you guys so much. And uh, hopefully we'll get your daughter and your son performing. Yeah. Thank you guys so much. Daniel Natasia. All right, Monica, thank you very much. That flow passing behind us, that is called the Ryan Express. Uh, it is named, of course, after Nolan Ryan, the all-time strikeout leader who pitched for the Angels, of course, the Astros, Rangers throughout his career. Uh, some of the all-time greats you can see are on that float. Some of the bobbleheads you see, those are the greats right there. Babe Ruth is on that float. Jackie Robinson, Willie Mays, Mike Trout, all of the float participants. They play baseball at Southwest Baseball. It's a league of almost 1,000 children ages 4 to 16. It's run by an all-volunteer board of directors. And like Monica, the, the people she was interviewing, a lot of parents watching their kids here, a lot of uh, people watching uh, right now on TV, waiting to catch a glimpse of their very own a tradition for many here in the borderlands. And I hope we, I hope everybody gets to see their their kids on on TV if they're not here. Hopefully they're all here, but uh, some some mothers stay back to prepare the Thanksgiving dinner so they catch them on TV. And I hope they all get to see their their kids. Uh, during the broadcast. Bernie, we were talking about this yesterday, but the floats, what are they made of? They're, they're weather resistant, right? They're, they're made out of not just tissue paper. No, like we think. Uh, there's a lot of wood and a lot of steel, but the, uh, you know, the outside, what you see, the glitter and all that, that is uh, w weatherproof material uh, and it's plastic and, uh, and that's what most of the floats are covered with. We're going to take one more quick break as you see LAT, uh, LAT Studios dancing down the street here on Montana. We'll see you in just a moment. Don't go away. The ultimate Black Friday starts today. At El Paso Honda, every day in November is Black Friday. Get clearance pricing on a new 2019 Civic LX for $99 a month or get 1.9% APR for 36 months. Free in today at El Paso Honda. It's the biggest sale of the year going on now exclusively at Poe Toyota. Drive home a new 2020 Corolla LE for $99 a month or get $1,500 cash back. You can get Black Friday savings all month long at Poe Toyota. Black Friday savings here at Oscar Leaser's Hyundai of El Paso. Check out these doorbuster deals. Save 5000 off MSRP on new Sonatas. That's our biggest discount of 2019. 5000 off MSRP on brand new Sonatas. Save thousands in interest with 0% APR for 72 months on 2020 Elantras and Santa Fe's. No interest for six years. Skip the lines. Hyundai of El Paso has hundreds of new Hyundais with Black Friday savings now through month end. My Oscar. He's such a good boy. If you have a major injury in the oil field, you're going to need to find out what your rights are. If it's a drilling rig accident, I want to be on the rig the day I'm hired, if not the next day. There's not an oil field accident that occurs that our firm really hasn't seen something similar. Our experience makes a difference in handling oil field accident cases. We're the right law firm for a major oil field accident case. If your loved one has been injured in the oil field, Call Glasheen, Baez, and Enderman now. Black Friday savings here at Oscar Leaser's Hyundai of El Paso. Check out these doorbuster deals. Save 5000 off MSRP on new Sonatas. That's our biggest discount of 2019. 5000 off MSRP on brand new Sonatas. Save thousands in interest with 0% APR for 72 months on 2020 Elantras and Santa Fe's. No interest for six years. Skip the lines. Hyundai of El Paso has hundreds of new Hyundais with Black Friday savings now through month end. My Oscar is such a good boy. At Lovett Law Firm, we know you work hard and that you deserve to enjoy a good life. When you're injured in an accident, you need someone to help you get your life back together right away. Insurance companies may take advantage of you when you are most vulnerable. At Lovett Law Firm, we fight to get you a fair and just result because when you don't get justice, we take it personally. 
Call us at 915-757-9999. You're going to love it. Principal office in El Paso, Texas. It's the biggest sale of the year going on now exclusively at Poe Toyota. Drive home a new 2019 Camry LE for $209 a month or get $2,500 cash back. You can get Black Friday savings all month long at Poe Toyota. The ultimate Black Friday starts today. At El Paso Honda, every day in November is Black Friday. Drive a new 2019 CRV LX for $199 a month or get 1.9% APR for 36 months. Hurry in today at El Paso Honda. Welcome back to the 83rd Annual Oscar Leasers Hyundai of El Paso Sun Bowl Parade. Thank you so much for joining us. Families are there lining the streets. I'm starting to see more of a crowd, and people are bundled up. You can see them in their blankets and their beanies and rain gear. Uh, they have umbrellas. Uh, so excited to be here. Just seeing their faces when mm -hmm. the floats pass by is really something. I think it's starting to get brighter out here. Dare I say that the sun is trying to poke its head out, the, out here. <laughs> yeah, trying to make its way through the clouds. Uh, you can see we have the UTEP miners right there marching down the street. We're going to hear from them in just a moment as they make their way over here. <laughs> but yeah, things are, it's not, it's not so bad, Bernie. You said you still have time to get down here. If you want to get to the end of the parade, you'll be able to catch it. Absolutely. And you're right, it is getting brighter here. Uh, and warmer. <laughs> not just me, right? It's the getting warmer. The rain has stopped, and right? The, the drizzle the rain has stopped seems and to uh, be stopping. Yeah, this is a great day for parade day. All right, so uh, again, we're going to hear from the UTEP miners in just a moment. They are the sound of the Southwest, the marching band, of course, uh, the most recognizable organization of music, of course, one of the most in El Paso. They are one of the largest student organizations on campus. They're comprised of 230 students, representing every single college at UTEP. A wide variety of majors. I hear the fight song right there. Kind of gets me in the mood, right? There you go. Like, cheer. Color guard, cheerleaders, gold diggers. Everybody's there. They're great. I'm glad, they, I'm glad they, they're, they're marching. We do have a home game. You can't remind us have a home game this, this, this Saturday, so I'm glad that they were able to come out here and march in the parade. This is uh, the city's university. This band was established in 1957 as the College of Mind Band. a big band right there under the direction of Dr. Andrew Hunter, the University of Texas at El Paso, Marching Miners. I was mentioning that every single college is represented there within the band, and actually 68% of the band are majoring in something besides music, so most of them majoring in something else. Yay! <laughs> I played the flute. Do you can still play the flute? Do you think you can remember? I don't know. I haven't picked one up in a couple years. 
It's like riding a bicycle. Yeah. I'm yeah, sure. I'm sure you you'll, <laughs> you can pick it up right away. All right, coming up. I'm really excited about this next float that's coming up. So am I. Um, I, I saw a little preview of it. Uh, oh. The this force is, is with us now. Yes. There you go. Water Wars presented by El Paso Water. Look at that. <laughs> it's Chewbacca. Chewbacca. It must be warm, right? Isn't that costume? Wow, look at that. All right, this is the ninth year in the parade. This is Lego Star Wars themed float. Two Lego starships at the front is the X Wing fighter, and the rear is the TIE fighter. fighter. The X-Wing fighter is 14 feet long, and the TIE fighter is over 12 feet tall. You can hear the Star Wars theme there. <laughs> that is amazing, Bernie. Yeah, this is <laughs> That is amazing. There's Vader and the TIE fighter. I'll confess, I am not a Star Wars fan. I've only seen one of the movies, but this is amazing. This is impressive. Yeah. I think I'll go binge watch all of them now. <laughs> okay, listen to this. This was built by El Paso Water Employee Volunteers with over 500 hours of work in it. It shows. Yeah. And Willie the Water Jumper, he's got his own lightsaber. He's ready to defend that float. There's Yoda. Those bobblehead characters, they're over six feet tall. Exactly, replicas too. I mean, it, it, it's amazing. Look at the sound effects Boy. on that thing, wow. Even the, the soundtrack is incredible yeah. as well. It's just, uh, wow. That is breathtaking. See the Budweiser truck right there, the Budweiser Clydesdales. There they are. They have them in the trailers this year, but they are here nonetheless, and we're happy to have them. This is their 12th year in the parade. The world-renowned Budweiser Clydesdales have been an iconic symbol of the Budweiser brand since they delivered the first case of Budweiser to President Franklin Roosevelt to celebrate the end of Prohibition. Unfortunately, because of the, of the slick uh, pavement, uh, they w they don't allow them to uh, you know to prance on that, but at least uh, everybody gets to see gets to see them march through the, uh, you know march down the parade route. A big thanks to Budweiser for allowing them to come here. We don't get them every year, and again uh, because of the, sl the slippery uh, f uh, pavement, uh, they wouldn't allow them to you know to trot down the down the, the parade. But uh, very happy to have them here. And in case you want to catch them tomorrow, maybe if the weather's a little bit better, they're going to be at Fort Bliss. They're going to be at Freedom Crossing from 1 p.m. to 3 p.m. The Clydesdales, if you'd like to go check them out there. But we're happy to have them here today. They are representing LNF Distributors, the local Anheuser-Busch distributor here in El Paso. That is a locally owned, family owned company that's been in El Paso since 2008. So again, you can see the horses there. But again, they've had to uh, stay in the trailers because of the weather today. Well, those trailers look, uh, they look pretty nice. They yeah, do. Yeah, they do. <laughs> it's not your basic 18 wheel there. Now, each of these Clydesdales, uh, they're about three years old, each of them. They're about uh, 18 hands, they call it, or six feet at the shoulder, and they weigh an average of 2,000 pounds. I think this is interesting. They will consume 20 to 25 quarts of feed, 40 to 50 pounds of hay, and 30 gallons of water per day. <laughs> Whoa. All right, up next we're seeing the Riverside High School Ranger Band, and they've been in the parade uh, for uh, a while, for t over 25 years. Um, they are accompanied by the Wranglerettes. You can see them there. And it's actually the 50th anniversary for Riverside High School. Ranger Band is the pride of the Lower Valley. They came prepared for the weather. Yes. They say they're proud to represent the high school community. And they would like to thank uh, their families, alumni, YSD School Board of Trustees, and friends for their support. And the Wranglerettes are, are one of the best dancing groups in the state. Uh, they're tremendous. Not 
an easy task to walk in those boots for three miles. <laughs> Fight song there. Any college football fans. Wake up very early. You remember those days, right, Daniel? I remember those <laughs> mornings, yep. <laughs> All right, in Riverside High School, they're celebrating again, as we mentioned, 50 years of academy and success. On August 25th, 1969, Riverside High School opened its doors for the very first time, welcoming ninth graders. 73 was the first graduating class of Rangers there. Now seated at the top of this float, is Mr. Don Harris, who was the very first principal at Riverside High School. The school has grown so much over the years. Now it specializes in the areas of STEM, which is, of course, very important. The science, technology, engineering, and math. That is the future for our students. I do want to mention that the Riverside High School class of 2019 last spring was awarded $95 million in scholarships and grants. That is the most out of any El Paso County school. Now we're seeing the Peter Piper Pizza Sun Bowl Punt Pass and Kick Float along with Rocky there. The top three finishers for each age group from the Peter Piper Pizza Sun Bowl Punt Pass and Kick. You can see them all there. The, for uh, boys ages 6 to 7, Isaiah Frere, ages 8 and 9, Bradley Reistad, ages 10 and 11, Carlos Rojas III, ages 12, 13, Robert Lewis, ages 14, 15, Dylan Garcia. We also have some of the girls up there. We have Ivani Garcia, we have Maura Rascon, Hermione, Ruby, Rua, and Ariel Barrios there on the floors right there. So the NFL used to sponsor the PPK and uh, they dropped it, so we took it, you know, we took it by ourselves to do it. Uh, find a great sponsor, Peter Piper Pizza, to let them compete. Uh, they'll be recognized. Obviously, they're getting ready to parade. We will also recognize them at the Tony Tiger Sumble. Uh, so, uh, yeah, we're, we're truly happy to take taking this on ourselves after the NFL uh, dropped the PP and paper. Look at those kids there. I know we're about to eat a bunch of turkey in a little while, but I could always go for some Peter Some Piper warm, pizza. nice pizza. <laughs> warm, cold, anyway. Pizza's yeah. always good. Yeah. <laughs> These are the all city cheerleaders you're looking at right now. They have been in the parade. 27 wow. years um, and they're girls and boys ranges, uh, ranging in ages from 5 to 17. The cheerleaders are recognized throughout the city and the region for their exceptional cheer talents. They also like to give back to the community by visiting area hospitals. Now we're going to take a quick break. You're not going to miss any of the parade. We're going to have it in the corner of the screen at all times and if you're watching online, you'll of course keep uh, enjoy watching the parade as we take a quick break. We'll see you in about two minutes. It's the biggest sale of the year going on now exclusively at Poe Toyota. Drive home a new 2019 RAV LE for $249 a month or get $1,500 cash back. You can get Black Friday savings all month long at Poe Toyota. The ultimate Black Friday starts today. At El Paso Honda, every day in November is Black Friday. Get clearance pricing on a new 2019 Civic LX for $99 a month or get 1.9% APR for 36 months. Hurry in today at El Paso Honda. Black Friday savings here at Oscar Leaser's Hyundai of El Paso. Check out these doorbuster deals. Save 5000 off MSRP on new Sonatas. That's our biggest discount of 2019. 5000 off MSRP on brand new Sonatas. Save thousands in interest with 0% APR for 72 months on 2020 Elantras and Santa Fe's. No interest for six years. Skip the lines. Hyundai of El Paso has hundreds of new Hyundais with Black Friday savings now through month end. My Oscar is such a good boy. An injured person can protect their interests by calling us. We are the rapid response team. 
we can put together a picture of what happened. There's nobody that's going to prepare a case the way that we prepare the case. We move immediately to preserve evidence, to preserve the marks at the scene, to preserve the vehicles, the cell phones, any data that can be obtained. Because that's our job is to find out what happened and be able to give the family answers. If your loved one has been seriously injured, call Glasheen, Baez, and Enderman now. Black Friday savings here at Oscar Leaser's Hyundai of El Paso. Check out these doorbuster deals. Save 5000 off MSRP on new Sonatas. That's our biggest discount of 2019. 5000 off MSRP on brand new Sonatas. Save thousands in interest with 0% APR for 72 months on 2020 Elantras and Santa Fe's. No interest for six years. Skip the lines. Hyundai of El Paso has hundreds of new Hyundais with Black Friday savings now through month end. My Oscar. He's such a good boy. Hey, everybody. Charlie Fogg, Charlie Fogg, son. We want to make this a November to remember. Thanks to all of you, you made us the number one volume Nissan dealer in all of El Paso. So to give back, we're going to give a warranty forever on all new Nissans we sell in November. On top of that, we're going to give away a 2020 Versa. All you have to do is come in for a test drive. That's it. I'm in chance. And we're the only ones who offer free car washes for life and free oil changes for life. The ultimate Black Friday starts today. At El Paso Honda, every day in November is Black Friday. Drive a new 2019 HRV LX for $189 a month or get 1.9% APR for 36 months. Free in today at El Paso Honda. It's the biggest sale of the year going on now exclusively at Poe Toyota. Drive home a new 2019 Camry LE for $209 a month or get $2,500 cash back. You can get Black Friday savings all month long at Poe Toyota. And welcome back to the 83rd Annual Oscar Leaser's Hyundai of El Paso Sun Bowl Parade. You're watching it, of course, live on KTSM-TV, serving El Paso, Las Cruces, and Ciudad Juarez. And you're seeing the Black Panther float just go by right there. That's the 44th year in the parade for Esteen Fashion Models. I love the bobbleheads. They really <laughs> pop. They really stand out, right? Absolutely. Again, a, a great theme, I think. Uh, and I think it's, you know, I, again, some of these are, are amazing. Uh, and it's not, they're not easy to build either. You got to right. find the right type of spring or motor or, or, or motor that, to make them look like they're bobbling. So uh, I, again, I think uh, I think you hit a, hit a home run with that, with that with this team this year. All right, I believe our uh, Monica Cortez, she's going to interview the mayor. The mayor's here. Hey, Monica. Hey, happy Thanksgiving, everyone. I'm here with the mayor and his family. Good morning. Good morning. Awesome. Happy Thanksgiving. How are you guys enjoying the parade so far? We have been happy. Like the parade. Because. <laughs> Why don't y'all to take a look at this story? That, what would you like to say to the people at home that are watching this morning? El Paso worked on for months, and today... So this is a great event. With the rest of it. God bless El Paso. Oh, thank you so much for allowing us to interview you guys. Happy Thanksgiving. Bye. <laughs> there you guys have it. And thankfully, the weather's starting to calm down a little bit. Just a little bit breezy, which makes it chilly. But other than that, we're doing great. Natasia, Daniel. All right, thank you, Monica. Yeah, just the breeze coming in. That's when I feel cold. But other than that, you can see our fly our papers flying around here. Uh, again, Monica just interviewing Mayor DeMargo. Uh, some of the city representatives are also here. We have Peter Sportsfine from District 1, Alexandra Neo, District 2, Claudia Ordaz Perez, District 6, uh, and Henry Rivera, District 7. Yeah, I'd like to commend them for, for coming out, uh, you know, every year and, uh, and riding in the parade. Uh, it's good for all the constituents to see them, uh, to, to get a good look at them. And, uh, so thank them for, for being out here. All right, there you were watching El Paso Animal Services, their field operations and adoption team, and their van is coming up shortly. This is their fourth year in the parade for the city of El Paso's Animal Services. They provide the El Paso community with animal control services in the field and, of course, at their shelter over on Fred Wilson. And they have been making a conscious effort to become a no-kill shelter by the end of 2020. But they do need your help. That's why they've been holding weekly adoption events. We have the Clear the Shelters events in partnership here with us at KTSM. Lots of pets that need some fostering, some adoption, some love. Yeah, we have some also some merch here. There you go. We have El Paso Animal Services here. We have a t-shirt right here. You can see it here. And then it says, together we will save more lives. Adopt, foster, volunteer, donate. So a lot you can do to help these animals. You can donate, you can foster if you're not ready to fully adopt a, a pet. Oh, and there are some of the little cuties right there. And the, again, this is the mobile adoption van. 
Oh. They're trying to get to 100% no kill as a shelter. Last year, they were at 85%, so we're getting closer and closer each year. Let's go ahead and send things over to Estefania Safer now. She is live along the parade route. Estefania. Guys, the mentality to have is that years from now, you're not going to remember how cold it was, but the memories that were made on this Thanksgiving day. And that's the case for the Duartes, who don't even live in El Paso, but they come to El Paso for Thanksgiving every day to be a witness to this awesome parade every year. Where are you guys from? We are from Pflugerville, Texas. How far is that from here? Um, about 600 miles from uh, El Paso. So what's your favorite tradition in you know, all the years that you've been watching this parade? Family, family and the consistency of great parades here in El Paso. What do you guys plan to do after this parade or what's part of your guys' tradition or routine on Thanksgiving Day? Eat turkey, watch the Cowboys and play football. Awesome guys, and who do, you, who do we have here with you? Um, David. Uh, Tally. Manny. Jonathan. All right, and so what brought you guys to always be watching this parade or come to El Paso to watch this parade every year? Grew up here. You grew up here. Awesome. What high school did you go to? Austin High School. Shout out to Austin High School. <laughs> All right, guys. Well, happy Thanksgiving. Very exciting. Thank you, Thank you guys. Yeah, and well, we mentioned it earlier. This sidewalk was pretty empty when we got here, and just as the parade has progressed, it's getting packed. And so we were just talking about that, too. So still time, guys. Pretty nice pretty nice morning, I should say. So back to you guys. All right, Stephanie, thank you very much. That family's plans, that's my family's plans over on the east side later today. We have football and the Cowboys. That's what Thanksgiving is about oh, for us. And there's the lion. Roar. This is the lion presented by El Paso Downtown Lions Club. The club helped start and form the parade back in 1935, Bernie. So they are a part of this history. Like I said, one of the two units that we've had in the parade that have participated in every single of the 82 previous parades, and now includes this one 83 years in a row that the Lions Club has been part of it. Of course, that infamous lion with that tremendous roar is awesome to see going down the, going down the parade route. All right, we're now seeing, you can see the vibrant costumes there. Uh, Viva El Paso Bobbleheads, presented by El Paso Downtown Lions Club. And they've participated in every parade. Uh, the highlights, it, it key features the El Paso area, of course. We have the mountains as the backdrop. And you can see there the iconic El Paso star. Viva El Paso uh, dancers are walking along with the float to help bring life with their beautiful, colorful costumes. You can see all the bobbleheads there. I go see Viva El Paso at least once a year uh, yes. down in the Pelican Canyon. They put on tremendous production of the history of El Paso. And uh, of course, that's what they're portraying here. And it's just, it's just wonderful. Anytime, it's been a wonderful event. Anytime someone comes to visit El Paso for the first time, I always take them to one of these shows and they are blown away. Yes, they are. It's, it's, yeah. They do a tremendous job. And some of the bobbleheads you'll see is a conquistador, a cowboy. Lawman, school teacher. And they're all part of the characters of Vila El Paso, so another tremendous job. All right, as Viva El Paso makes its way down Montana Avenue here right in front of Houston Park, we are going to take one more break. Again, you're not going to miss anything. Just keep your eye on the bottom of the screen to keep watching the parade. We'll see you in just a bit. Savings here at Oscar Leaser's Hyundai of El Paso. Check out these doorbuster deals. Save 5000 off MSRP on new Sonatas. That's our biggest discount of 2019. 5000 off MSRP on brand new Sonatas. Save thousands in interest with 0% APR for 72 months on 2020 Elantras and Santa Fe's. No interest for six years. Skip the lines. Hyundai of El Paso has hundreds of new Hyundais with Black Friday savings now through month end. My Oscar is such a good boy. The ultimate Black Friday starts today. At El Paso Honda, every day in November is Black Friday. Drive a new 2019 HRV LX for $189 a month or get 1.9% APR for 36 months. Hurry in today at El Paso Honda. It's the biggest sale of the year going on now exclusively at Poe Toyota. Drive home a new 2019 RAV LE for $249 a month or get $1,500 cash back. You can get Black Friday savings all month long at Poe Toyota.
Black Friday savings here at Oscar Leaser's Hyundai of El Paso. Check out these doorbuster deals. Save 5000 off MSRP on new Sonatas. That's our biggest discount of 2019. 5000 off MSRP on brand new Sonatas. Save thousands in interest with 0% APR for 72 months on 2020 Elantras and Santa Fe's. No interest for six years. Skip the lines. Hyundai of El Paso has hundreds of new Hyundais with Black Friday savings now through month end. My Oscar is such a good boy. It's the biggest sale of the year going on now exclusively at Poe Toyota. Drive home a new 2020 Corolla LE for $99 a month or get $1,500 cash back. You can get Black Friday savings all month long at Poe Toyota. The ultimate Black Friday starts today at El Paso Honda. Every day in November is Black Friday. Drive a new 2019 CRV LX for $199 a month or get 1.9% APR for 36 months. Hurry in today at El Paso Honda. Good morning, everyone. Thank you for joining us for the 83rd annual Oscar Leasers Hyundai of El Paso Sumbul Parade. Happy Thanksgiving. Thanks for joining us. I'm Natasha Paloma, joined by Daniel Marin and Bernie Olivas. Guys, it is... Not too bad out here, the weather, and the crowd is building, right? We're seeing a lot more people come out. Absolutely. Uh, like I said, the weather comes and goes, but it's it's not, at its worst, it's not that bad. So, uh, and again, the flows have been tremendous. The marching bands, every, everything about it so far has been tremendous. So, uh, hope you're all enjoying the, the broadcast. Uh, yeah, there's still time to come on out here to catch some of this parade. So, uh, again, it, it's moving, it, only, it moves very slowly, so there's plenty of time to get there. So, uh, come on out. Look at this one. This is one of my favorite movies growing up. The Lion King, presented by Edison Hope Leadership Christian Academy. And it features all the characters of the Lion King. You can see Simba there, and we saw some of the other characters. I believe it's either Mufasa. There's Nala. No, Nala. Uh-huh. And uh, they're, of course, all bobbling. Um, the float. Uh, I guess kids love this, this float because, you know, Lion King right now, it came out again. The, uh -huh. the new Lion King. You can hear the theme song, the circle of life. I saw the, I saw the movie, and I, I went to the Broadway production that they had uh, downtown the Plaza Theater, one of one of the one of the best shows I've that ever ever seen. Huh? That it was, was so great. Now, this is interesting. The characters are all made from cardboard and paper, similar to piñatas. Really? Yeah, and the trees are made of umbrellas. So a lot of creativity behind all these floats. Interesting to see that some of these little ones out here are going to grow up with two versions of the Lion King. True. Some of them are going to know the uh, the new one first before they knew the cartoon. Up next, there you see them, we have the Silver Foxes. Joining us now, the Jefferson Silva Marching Band and the cheerleaders, Flag Corps. They've been part of the parade for 30 years. The Silver Fox Marching Band is a competitive band in this area. It's made up of students both from Jeff and also the Silva Health Magnets. band has been na named a top finalist at various competitions in the area in recent years. Their band director is Freddie Gates. Let's go ahead and take a listen to the Silver Foxes for a moment. have a parade without all the high school bands it really no. makes mix for it right absolutely uh, parades are you know bands floats equestrians clowns and i think we have some of everything a little bit of in everything. this parade and it just it's been great that's a tremendous band that's uh, that's walking right down going down the right right now again if you're just joining us we are live at the 83rd annual Oscar Leasers Hyundai of El Paso Sumble Parade. We are here in central El Paso. The parade, three miles long. I would say we're about halfway through the parade at this point. It appears so, uh-huh. Yeah. We want to welcome everybody also watching on KTSM.com. We know we have a lot of people who are out of town getting a little taste of home. 
from the broadcast on the internet right now and we want to thank you for joining us and we hope you're having a great thanksgiving hope you're safe and happy wherever you are we miss you here in el paso yes and we're seeing a lot of families come out it's uh building the crowds are building here people with their umbrellas with their blankets uh keeping warm here and not too bad out here not too bad at all Here's our Monica Cortez, and she is interviewing County Judge Ricardo Samaniego. That's right, so I'm out here. Happy Thanksgiving, everyone, and I'm here with Ricardo Samaniego. Real quickly, thank you so much for being out here. Uh, what do you want to say to people at home? Well, just amazing. Uh, El Paso doesn't give up weather or no weather. Uh, everybody's having a great time. Uh, just, it's amazing Thanksgiving, and uh, I hope everybody has a, a time with their family and, and be very uh, appreciative of everything and all the blessings. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Happy Thanksgiving! Yeah, and so uh, now we're starting to see this rain slowly beginning to taper off. I promise, guys, this rain will not stick around for the rest of the day, but we do have those strong winds in the forecast for tomorrow. Daniel, Natasia, all right, thank you, Monica. This County Commissioner, Vince Pettis, right there, and his wife, City Representative Claudia Vaz Pettis. So they have a, a guest with them in the back of that truck. I bet you he's warm. <laughs> oh, yeah. You know what, I, I left El Paso uh, for a couple years, and I love coming back, the music, hearing the cumbias, the rancheras, and then people dancing in the streets. We saw some people earlier. There's really no place like El Paso, I can tell you that. It's a great holiday. Yeah. And it's a great holiday for El Paso. Uh, and El Pasos know how to, they know how to party, and, uh, <laughs> and that's what they're doing out here on Thanksgiving morning. Right, so we're seeing again uh, uh, the commissioners there, Vince Bettis. And coming up, let's see what we have we here. Have, this is the County of El Paso's uh, float, preserving our heritage, the first year in the parade for the County of El Paso, the El Paso Historical Mission. Um, as it approaches, you're gonna be able to see that there's three uh, fixed stationary missions, replicas of the missions, with four riders on each of them. Again, a little bit of our history. Mm -hmm. We have so much of it here. So that looks like a replica of the county courthouse. And then right next to it, we have three missions. So pretty good job. So wow. history yeah. right there. Again, uh, Bernie, so many hours go into building these floats. You hours know, and hours. Underneath all these structures is, a, is, a, is an <laughs> intricate uh, frame, framework, and of course, a lot of wood, a lot of iron, uh, a, lot of, a lot of nails, a lot of screws. A lot of staples, a lot of man hours go into building all, every one of these floats uh, that people, they see the finished product, but underneath that, like they say, you know, you know, the, the finished product looks great, but there's a lot of, a lot of happenings underneath that that uh, people don't realize, and it does take hours and hours and hours to get one of these floats put, put together. And this float has some small-scale bobbleheads. Uh, some of the birds you can see are bobbling their heads, uh, some of the animals there riding along the mission. Big part of our history. Yeah, you can see people waving there. I love the atmosphere right now. People cheering when these floats go by. They're really excited to be here. Very, very nice. And considering, I think the crowd is still actually growing. Every time I look over to my side, I see yeah. more and more people gathered here. Again, we are by Houston Park. Now, Bernie, people who are looking at this scene right here, they might notice that the grandstands are missing, the bleachers, but they're not gone. They, they just moved down a little bit because of the new Brio station. Yeah, right the there. new Brio station kind of blocked, you know, the view would have blocked the view of our, our grandstand. So we're down at 1600 uh, Montana over at the Emergence Health Network, and uh, they've been gracious enough to, to let us put our grandstands there. So uh, you don't have to stand. It's, it's an opportunity to be able to actually, you know, you buy a ticket and you actually see, you know, sit in the grandstand and, and, uh, and uh, have an unobstructed view of the parade as it, as it uh, flows by. You're seeing the West Texas Young Marines. This is the seventh appearance in the parade. We have 40 young adults marching. And this is a nonprofit organization that promotes a healthy, drug free lifestyle. Now, it also instills core values, honor, integrity, and pride. And these young Marines are taught the measuring of honor, courage, and commitment. And you can see how young some of these are. Yeah. Like I said, that as, as true Marines, they're. They're, you know, braving the weather and marching the three miles at that age. So I, I got to have to commend them for that. And they'll do it on their own. They do have a team of adult volunteers who help coordinate the West Texas Young Marines. Right there, you are looking at Circus, presented by Olympian Fitness Center. This was built by parents and the children at the center. 
The idea behind this float is to depict the actual circus. You see some of the circus animals there. I see a lion right there, some trapeze. Of course, bobbleheads. And they say they chose this theme because of the similarity between athleticism and gymnastics and the circus. A very bright, vibrant float there. <laughs> I just love watching the kids. They're so happy. They get so excited. Yeah, yeah, they, they have do. so much energy. <laughs> they do. <laughs> and that's one, th one, of the, one of the things that we consider when we pick a theme is, is it good for the children? Is uh -huh. it good for the kids? Because right. I think parades are, for, you know, are for kids for everybody, but uh, you want to attract the kids out there, and that's one of the things that we, you know, that we always look for when we're picking a theme is, will it be attractive to the young, to the young people? Of course, when you're three foot tall, these floats look so impressive as they go True. by you. And you're huge, I can imagine. <laughs> as some more families gathered here, a lot of people, as you can see right there, some people camped out here and some campers, they set them up here in the parking lot across the street from Houston Park. They have oh. food, they have their music. <laughs> a little lion there. And Bernie, you said some of them camped out. You, you saw them last night, right? You know, every year I go down, you know, I, I, I go down the prayer about 11 o'clock at night before I go home just to see how many people are there. There's normally tons of people camped out with their, with their grills uh, and their little fires and their, their uh, sleeping bags. And it was no different last night as well. Mm -hmm. Maybe not as many because it was raining, but it, it just, it's just great to know that people, that's how much people think of this parade, that they want to get here early and get a great seat, a great view uh, of the, as the parade floats by. All right, you're watching the Irvin High School Mighty Rocket Band. This is the sixth year participating in the parade. It has 80 members. It is the Sun Bull Parade 2017 Marching Band Award winner. They won several UAL awards. They also take part in an annual Christmas tour. They visit elementary and middle schools. So the Indian and Texas State Veterans Home will play for them. You know, the participants are are vying for some awards, some parade awards, and like I said we have uh, you know awards for the winners, for the bands, for the floats, for the ROTCs. So everybody here has an opportunity to, to you know to, to win an award a trophy from the you Sumble know, Association and the Oscar Leeson and Dave El Paso. And the Illusions Dance Team is a proud member of the Urban Rocket family. Their motto: Our hearts are more rockets rise and soar. Of course, the band under the direction of Robert Quintanilla. What a great job he's done. All right, we're going to take a short break, but we will continue showing the parade in the corner of your screen. We're also streaming it online on KTSM.com. We'll be right back. Stay with us. It's the biggest sale of the year going on now exclusively at Poe Toyota. Drive home a new 2020 Corolla LE for $99 a month or get $1,500 cash back. You can get Black Friday savings all month long at Poe Toyota. The ultimate Black Friday starts today. At El Paso Honda, every day in November is Black Friday. Get clearance pricing on a new 2019 Civic LX for $99 a month or get 1.9% APR for 36 months. Hurry in today at El Paso Honda. Black Friday savings here at Oscar Leaser's Hyundai of El Paso. Check out these doorbuster deals. Save 5000 off MSRP on new Sonatas. That's our biggest discount of 2019. 5000 off MSRP on brand new Sonatas. Save thousands in interest with 0% APR for 72 months on 2020 Elantras and Santa Fe's. No interest for six years. Skip the lines. Hyundai of El Paso has hundreds of new Hyundais with Black Friday savings now through month end. My Oscar. He's such a big boy. There are 25,000 deaths a year from motor vehicle accidents. Trucking companies are putting trucks on the road that aren't fit to be on the road. If you've suffered a serious injury in a truck wreck, call Glesheen Vice Menderman today. Black Friday savings here at Oscar Leaser's Hyundai of El Paso. Check out these doorbuster deals. Save 5000 off MSRP on new Sonatas. That's our biggest discount of 2019. 5000 off MSRP on brand new Sonatas. Save thousands in interest with 0% APR for 72 months on 2020 Elantras and Santa Fe's. No interest for six years. Skip the lines. Hyundai of El Paso has hundreds of new Hyundais with Black Friday savings now through month end. My Oscar. He's such a good boy. If you have a major injury in the oil field, you're going to need to find out what your rights are. If it's a drilling rig accident, I want to be on the rig the day I'm hired, if not the next day. There's not an oil field 
accident that occurs that our firm really hasn't seen something similar. Our experience makes a difference in handling oil field accident cases. We're the right law firm for a major oil field accident case. If your loved one has been injured in the oil field, call Glasheen, Baez, and Enderman now. The Ultimate Black Friday starts today. At El Paso Honda, every day in November is Black Friday. Drive a new 2019 CRV LX for $199 a month or get 1.9% APR for 36 months. Hurry in today at El Paso Honda. It's the biggest sale of the year going on now exclusively at Poe Toyota. Drive home a new 2019 Camry LE for $209 a month or get $2,500 cash back. You can get Black Friday savings all month long at Poe Toyota. Good morning, everybody. Happy Thanksgiving. Thanks for joining us for the 83rd annual Oscar Leaser's Hyundai of El Paso Sumble Parade. I'm Natasha Paloma, Daniel Marin, Bernie Olivas. You know what? It is a beautiful morning. It is. Yeah. It's, it's a great morning. Uh, if we were at a football game, people think it was, it was too warm. <laughs> this is a great day. This is just a great day. Uh, uh, so uh, I'm so happy, and I think I think the parade I think makes people forget about the weather, right? Uh, and that's what it's about. If they if they can do that, then it, then it's been a great day, and I think that's what's happening right now. As we await some of the floats to come through here, let's go ahead and send things back over to Estefania Safer. She's speaking with some more uh, parade goers there along the route. Hey, Estefania. Actually telling me that they feel like the weather is what adds to the experience kind of like that year that it snowed for the Sun Bowl I think it was 2016 maybe people still talk about that because it was pretty memorable and so this is probably one of those times where people are definitely gonna remember that time that it rained during the Thanksgiving Day Parade I'm joined here by someone who attends the parade every year so what brings you every year well I'm originally from Paris I'm very glad and we are very blessed to be here uh, this is a uh, great proof that no matter what the weather is and no matter what happens, no matter how many people, we will stand united in peace and in joy. What's been one of your favorite parts so far of today's parade? I love the Star Wars float. <laughs> Definitely. We were just talking about that too. That was a very crafty float. In other years, what is a memory that sticks out the most that you remember of coming to the parade? Kids, uh, just their faces, children's faces. They're always laughing. They don't know about any troubles. They don't know about what's going on in the world. This is a perfect moment to come out here and just leave everything behind and have a great time. Typically, every year when you come, who do you come with? Uh, it's, it varies. Every time it's different. Friends, sometimes it's family, sometimes I come by myself. It's always a great experience. That much it means to you to yes. be and you're not going to miss it. Never. Is there ever a year when you say, I might not make it? No. Sometimes I was here late, but I made it. But I've always been here. For sure. Never yes. missing it. All right. Well, thank you so much. Keep thank enjoying you. the parade. Happy thank you. Thanksgiving. Likewise. I'll, I'll keep roaming the, the sidewalks for you guys to keep sharing these stories in case you all aren't able to make the parade. You can maybe catch your family and friends on TV. I'll go ahead and send it back to you guys. All right. Thank you, Estefania. We have a float coming down here. It's a yeah. very interesting that one. Cool very creative. There. It's Krampus is Coming, presented by the Kaleidoscope Art Market. I don't know if we can get a shot of it. It's very impressive um, out there. We're seeing a lot of impressive floats. Uh, the woman uh, that Estefania interviewed said the Star Wars float was her uh, favorite, and that, that was very, very uh, impressive there. But as you're seeing here, uh, this is a moving Krampus bobblehead, Jack in the Box with a smoke machine. So a lot of creativity there. Uh, the team dressed up as elves and kids in pajamas. And Krampus, if you're wondering what Krampus yeah, it's is. It's kind of scary. <laughs> It is an old German Christmas tradition and is said to be Santa's evil counterpart. Ooh, so they, the so Krampus, kids. yes, deals with you naughty kids, so you have to be good. <laughs> or right. you'll see Krampus. <laughs> uh, I, I hear another marching band coming down the way. We have the Franklin High School marching band here. Over on the west side, of course, they've been participating since 1995, 24 years. 160 members in this band as well. They have established itself as one of the premier band programs in the Southwest. They're a big name in the local marching band world and world concert and jazz bands as well. Other groups with the band community have excelled to state competitions and beyond. So this is a, this is a powerhouse band in the city. They're playing some Christmas music. Yeah. That was always my favorite. Yeah. When, when I was in band, 
that's what I learned was jingle bells. I love playing all that music. <laughs> the Franklin High School Marching Band giving us a, a taste of Christmas. Again, we are live from the 80 or 83rd Annual Oscar Leisure's Hyundai of El Paso Sumbo Parade. We're going to take a short break real quick, but if uh, you want to stay watching the parade, we're going to have it there on the corner of your screen through commercial break. You can also uh, catch it uh, live streaming. We're live streaming at KTSM.com. We will be right back. Black Friday savings here at Oscar Leasers Hyundai of El Paso. Check out these doorbuster deals. Save 5000 off MSRP on new Sonatas. That's our biggest discount of 2019. 5000 off MSRP on brand new Sonatas. Save thousands in interest with 0% APR for 72 months on 2020 Elantras and Santa Fe's. No interest for six years. Skip the lines. Hyundai of El Paso has hundreds of new Hyundais with Black Friday savings now through month end. My Oscar is such a good boy. The ultimate Black Friday starts today. At El Paso Honda, every day in November is Black Friday. Get clearance pricing on a new 2019 Civic LX for $99 a month or get 1.9% APR for 36 months. Free in today at El Paso Honda. It's the biggest sale of the year going on now exclusively at Poe Toyota. Drive home a new 2019 RAV LE for $249 a month or get $1,500 cash back. You can get Black Friday savings all month long at Poe Toyota. Black Friday savings here at Oscar Leasers Hyundai of El Paso. Check out these doorbuster deals. Save 5000 off MSRP on new Sonatas. That's our biggest discount of 2019. 5000 off MSRP on brand new Sonatas. Save thousands in interest with 0% APR for 72 months on 2020 Elantras and Santa Fe's. No interest for six years. Skip the lines. Hyundai of El Paso has hundreds of new Hyundais with Black Friday savings now through month end. My Oscar is such a good boy. It's the biggest sale of the year going on now exclusively at Poe Toyota. Drive home a new 2019 Camry LE for $209 a month or get $2,500 cash back. You can get Black Friday savings all month long at Poe Toyota. The ultimate Black Friday starts today. At El Paso Honda, every day in November is Black Friday. Drive a new 2019 HRV LX for $189 a month or get 1.9% APR for 36 months. Free in today at El Paso Honda. Welcome back. Happy Thanksgiving. Thank you for joining us for the 83rd annual Oscar Leasers Hyundai of El Paso Sumble Parade. Uh, we've seen so many beautiful floats pass by. Uh, we've seen a lot of marching mm -hmm. bands. It really gets you into the spirit of Thanksgiving. The parade, it really kicks it off for you. Yes, it does. You know, the, the Franklin Band started playing a lot of Christmas Christmas music, and like I said, it gets you right in the mood, and they were fantastic. And uh, again, this, the parade seems to be getting better as it gets closer to the end. And uh, so uh, stick around. And it looks like we have, I believe that might be the Jinetes de la Esperanza. It's a horseman club that focuses on helping our community's youth and also children with autism and our vet veterans suffering from post-traumatic stress disorder. They have a model that says, live and ride with hope and faith. The group is founded by Mr. Juan Padilla. Again, those are the Jinetes de la Esperanza. This is the fifth year they're in the parade. I like hearing the trot of the, of the horses. Mm -hmm. That's a good sound. That's a, that's a good, that's a parade sound, huh, Bernie? Absolutely. <laughs> and you notice we, we have them um, marching around the uh, the logo because that could get that could get pretty slick, slick and slippery. Right? So uh, that's one of the reasons they're not going down the, down the middle of the parade at this point. 
They'll move on to the middle of the road uh, as soon as they pass it. You can see people there uh, watching the parade uh, all bundled up. Uh, we're seeing some RVs, some people watching from the comfort of their own RV. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there's an RV over there that has a window propped open and people are watching from the window. Uh, that's, that's the way to do it. Yeah. And I believe we have Monica Cortez ready to go. Hey, Monica, what you got there? Here with this very sweet gentleman, Omar. Omar, thank you so much for being here. You know what? Okay, so tell me, how many years have you been coming to the Thanksgiving Day Parade? Actually, I've been coming to the Thanksgiving Parade since I've been a kid. You know, it's been a long time family tradition. We used to post up all over there at the end where the parade ends on Copia and Montana on Estrella, the little park that's there. But we ended up moving a couple of years back, we ended up moving here to uh, St. Brain and Montana because of the fact that this is where the newscast is at. It used to be back in the day over there, but they moved over here. So, you know, we always follow the cameras, you know, try and get some publicity, you know, going, you know, and let us be known what our tradition is about. So, you know, I've been posted up here since 9.30 last night and uh, I set up a tent. Uh, had a little taco stand going on for my family, you know, invited over everybody over to have a good time. And that's what it's all about, you know, have, gathering family and bringing them all together for this Thanksgiving Day dinner, you know. That's beautiful. And what would you like to say to people at home who are watching right now? You all need to come out no matter what the weather is. You know, I mean, rain didn't stop me from coming. It was cold, but you know what? We were warm where I was at, the way I set up, we were warm. It doesn't take much to, you know, just be, you know, uh, you know, think right. about our ideas yeah. bright, you know, and, and, and come up with some ideas, you know, to stay warm, you know, and uh, there's a lot of other people here out here that brought their RVs and stuff, but I'm all about camping out, you know, and that's what it's all about. I'm, I'm about outdoors, so. Oh, that's amazing. You know, thank you I so love, much. I love nature, you know. <laughs> yeah, it's beautiful. It really is. So thank you so much, Omar, for being out here today. Happy Thanksgiving, everyone. Yes, happy <laughs> Thanksgiving, everybody. We'll go back to Natasha and Daniel. All right. Nobody offered me any tacos. Did they offer you tacos? Uh, no. We, we were here about that time. We were here. We've been here. <laughs> All right. And you were looking at the EP Challenge Academy. Their float Ooh. is Game of Thrones themed. They, of course, have a castle on there. They've got the Iron Throne. See one of the dragons there. See some bobbleheads, too. There is, uh, it looks like Jon Snow there, Daenerys. There we go. Game. This is another impressive one. It's going to be. It's a, who decides? Who who judges, Bernie? Oh, there's the have, You know, uh, we have a set of judges uh, uh, that are, that are doing a tremendous job of doing this. We have a, a set of uh, band judges. We have a set of judges for for all the different uh, uh, aspects of the parade. So. Uh, uh, and they do a tremendous job. This is another series that I'm going to have to binge watch one of these, I've one never of these seen days. Because I've never seen it either. Yeah, Daniel <laughs> knows all his characters. <laughs> yeah, I mean, yeah. I, I see I see some of it. That's, that's a pretty impressive Iron Throne. I, yeah. And it's like the cool, like, hip-hop version of the theme. Just the details, right, that you see on all these floats, the swords and the armor and all the bobbleheads. It's a lot of detail that we're seeing here. Like I said, at the early stages of, of building the float, it's just, you know, just the structure. And, you know, and the frame, and, and then the real work starts when you start getting into the details like this flow just, just showed you, and it's, uh, that's, that's, that's pretty impressive. All right, uh, we're seeing, let's see here. Okay, we're seeing EP Alpha's baseball, and it's a replica of Chihuahua Stadium, but in the shape of a diamond with a giant bobblehead in the middle oh, of yeah. the diamond. You can see the bobblehead right there. Right. Now it has stadium-like seats in the front of the float with seats in the back portion of the float where the baseball players are seated. And surrounding the stadium is buildings and grass like it's downtown. So they really took that whole uh, downtown area, the Chihuahua Stadium, and made it their own. Absolutely. Like I said, the, all these floats have been very impressive, very impressive, and uh, again, and they're all sticking to the theme, and it just... Uh, it's just a wonderful, a wonderful event. I want to mention the El Paso Alphas baseball team. They got fourth out of 26 when they went to the World Series in Frisco, Texas. Those little players there. And we're looking there at the Isleta High School Junior ROTC. This is their fourth year in the parade. So they are excited to be here. Of course, their face is very stoic, as, as, as they should be. But uh, we're going to take one more breaker and try to sneak one in here. Again, you're not going to miss anything. Just keep your eyes on the corner of the screen. We will be back in about two minutes. Stay with us.
Black Friday savings here at Oscar Leaser's Hyundai of El Paso. Check out these doorbuster deals. Save 5000 off MSRP on new Sonatas. That's our biggest discount of 2019. 5000 off MSRP on brand new Sonatas. Save thousands in interest with 0% APR for 72 months on 2020 Elantras and Santa Fe's. No interest for six years. Skip the lines. Hyundai of El Paso has hundreds of new Hyundais with Black Friday savings now through month end. My Oscar is such a good boy. It's the biggest sale of the year going on now exclusively at Poe Toyota. Drive home a new 2019 RAV LE for $249 a month or get $1,500 cash back. You can get Black Friday savings all month long at Poe Toyota. The ultimate Black Friday starts today. At El Paso Honda, every day in November is Black Friday. Drive a new 2019 HRV LX for $189 a month or get 1.9% APR for 36 months. Hurry in today at El Paso Honda. Black Friday savings here at Oscar Leaser's Hyundai of El Paso. Check out these doorbuster deals. Save 5000 off MSRP on new Sonatas. That's our biggest discount of 2019. 5000 off MSRP on brand new Sonatas. Save thousands in interest with 0% APR for 72 months on 2020 Elantras and Santa Fe's. No interest for six years. Skip the lines. Hyundai of El Paso has hundreds of new Hyundais with Black Friday savings now through month end. My Oscar is such a good boy. The ultimate Black Friday starts today. At El Paso Honda, every day in November is Black Friday. Drive a new 2019 CRV LX for $199 a month or get 1.9% APR for 36 months. Hurry in today at El Paso Honda. It's the biggest sale of the year going on now exclusively at Poe Toyota. Drive home a new 2020 Corolla LE for $99 a month or get $1,500 cash back. You can get Black Friday savings all month long at Poe Toyota. Good morning. Happy Thanksgiving. Thank you for joining us for the 83rd annual Oscar Leaser's Hyundai of El Paso Assemble Parade. I'm Natasha Paloma, Daniel Marin, Bernie Olivas, and look who joined us. The one well, and only Oscar Leaser himself. Thank you. I just <laughs> uh, I just did 4.1 miles. That was the length of the parade, and it was incredible. I'm, I can't even tell you. The people lined up all the way down, probably a little further than normal where the parade really ends. This weather was no issue. The people were lined up all the way to the end it was beautiful and uh, i want to thank all the first responders that were out there it was it was really one of the most amazing things i've seen in uh, my 61 young years of uh, being around that uh, the people that are out here and the the first responders and everyone out there and thank you all for uh, broadcasting it it's been beautiful uh, we loved your float by the way your bobblehead Thank you. Splitting image. Now that it have a little bit more hair than... Uh, yes, it, yes, it did. It did. Uh, it did. And that y'all comment on and that. And we put a little wig on you last <laughs> night after your comment. We put a little wig on it just to give you a little bit more hair. Uh, Mr. Lisa, what made you decide to sponsor this year? You know, it's, uh, it's a family affair, and, and uh, giving back to our community is never a question. And uh, to be out here with everybody's family, all the families out there, was incredible. And uh, when Bernie and uh, John Fulmer actually came to me and asked me if... I would consider doing that. It was a very easy choice that uh, to be out here with uh, the citizens of El Paso, which are, is my family, our families out here with us today. So I was very, very uh, humbled that I had the opportunity to do this. And I thank Bernie, I, take, I thank John and everybody from the Sumble Association for giving us that incredible opportunity to be part of something this big. Yeah. Well, Oscar's been, obviously been a part of our, of the Sumble family for 10 years now. and. Uh, uh, he continues to give back, and continues to give back, not only to Sumble Associates, but to the city of El Paso. And uh, I want to personally thank you for doing this for thank the city. You. Thank you. And this is also a regional event. We see here the Santa Teresa Fire Department, the Volunteer Fire Department. Uh, this is the sixth year in the parade. It was founded late 1979 by 10 residents in Santa Teresa. At that time, they used an old ammo carrier to move the hose huh. to the uh -huh. fires. Interesting. Yeah. Right now, it has over 25 members two stations, four engines, a ladder truck, a hazmat truck, and two rescue vehicles. So they have built themselves into quite the department there. As they make their way by and as we await the next marching band, we're going to take one more quick break. Again, you're not going to miss anything. Keep your eyes on the corner of the screen. And thanks for watching on KTSM.com. We'll be right back. You're watching the 83rd annual Oscar Leaser's Hyundai of El Paso Sun Bowl Parade. Friday savings here at Oscar Leaser's Hyundai of El Paso. Check out these doorbuster deals. Save 5000 off MSRP on new Sonatas. That's our biggest discount of 2019. 5000 
off MSRP on brand new Sonatas. See thousands in interest with 0% APR for 72 months on 2020 Elantras and Santa Fe's. No interest for six years. Skip the lines. Hyundai of El Paso has hundreds of new Hyundais with Black Friday savings now through month end. My Oscar is such a good boy. The ultimate Black Friday starts today. At El Paso Honda, every day in November is Black Friday. Get clearance pricing on a new 2019 Civic LX for $99 a month or get 1.9% APR for 36 months. Free in today at El Paso Honda. It's the biggest sale of the year going on now exclusively at Poe Toyota. Drive home a new 2020 Corolla LE for $99 a month or get $1,500 cash back. You can get Black Friday savings all month long at Poe Toyota. Black Friday savings here at Oscar Leaser's Hyundai of El Paso. Check out these doorbuster deals. Save 5000 off MSRP on new Sonatas. That's our biggest discount of 2019. 5000 off MSRP on brand new Sonatas. Save thousands in interest with 0% APR for 72 months on 2020 Elantras and Santa Fe's. No interest for six years. Skip the lines. Hyundai of El Paso has hundreds of new Hyundais with Black Friday savings now through month end. My Oscar is such a good boy. It's the biggest sale of the year going on now exclusively at Poe Toyota. Drive home a new 2019 Camry LE for $209 a month or get $2,500 cash back. You can get Black Friday savings all month long at Poe Toyota. The ultimate Black Friday starts today. At El Paso Honda, every day in November is Black Friday. Drive a new 2019 CRV LX for $199 a month or get 1.9% APR for 36 months. Hurry in today at El Paso Honda. popular uh, fight song, the uh, Cal Bears fight song, mm -hmm. and UCLA's, I believe, as well. This is the second year in the parade for the Chapin High School Lobo Marching Band, consistently one of the most competitive marching bands in the El Paso, Las Cruces area. They have won multiple UIL sweepstakes awards, multiple top finishes at the NMSU Tournament of Bands. That's a big tournament local. And also won the Sun Bowl Association's Outstanding Marching Band Award before. Excellent band. All right, up next we have the El Paso Young Marines. They have over 18 years in the parade and it's a program for kids ages eight to 17. It's a youth group organization promoting and emphasizing the importance of saying no to drugs. And it helps students concentrate on having good grades and participating in community events like this one. Again, you know, pretty youngsters, you know, doing that, uh, that three mile walk, uh, holding a banner uh, takes a little, uh, it takes a little endurance and courage, as you would think uh, the Marines would be. Oscar Leeser also joining us here today. How do you feel being here, Mr. Leeser? You know, it's, it's great being here. I, I had the opportunity. I actually ran into the crowd and got hugs, high fives. And, you know, Bernie just said 3.1. I checked my phone. I actually went 4.1 miles. Wow. <laughs> just going into the crowd and, and having the people, the the being greeted by our community was incredible and uh, uh, again it's uh, the weather is beautiful it's uh, it's a great day for a parade yeah the weather turned out to be not so bad after all it's only getting warmer and brighter out here so we got pretty lucky and as Stephanie was saying earlier just as remember the Sun Bulls uh, the Sun Bowl football game sometimes when it snows and that becomes our memory everyone's gonna remember this parade too and it was just it wasn't too bad but it was a little rainy but I remember back in 2019 when, 2019. It was, when it was rainy. Again, you're seeing the El Paso Young Marines. And a lot of these groups, Bernie, have decades in this parade. The, the Young Marines have over 18 years. 
Again, it becomes a tradition just as much as, as, as uh, some families want to come here every year and make them a family effect, uh, affair. I think some of the participants want to continue that tradition as well from their organizations, from their schools, you know, from the, from the companies that put uh, floats in the parade. I think it also becomes a tradition for those people that keep coming back and back and back. So, uh, again, just a, a tribute to, uh, to the city of El Paso, our citizens, and, you know, and all the participants. Right there you're watching... Colegio de Pancilleres del Estado de Chihuahua. It's the first year in the parade. They are from Mexico. They came all the way from south of the border for this event. accepted and we're glad they're here and hope that they'll start another tradition of having somebody from south of the border from Juarez or from Chihuahua come down and march in our parade. It's, it's a great avenue here. Absolutely. That was that's really, really cool. Uh, we're going to take one more quick break and we will be right back. It's the biggest sale of the year going on now exclusively at Poe Toyota. Drive home a new 2019 RAV LE for $249 a month or get $1,500 cash back. You can get Black Friday savings all month long at Poe Toyota. The ultimate Black Friday starts today. At El Paso Honda, every day in November is Black Friday. Get clearance pricing on a new 2019 Civic LX for $99 a month or get 1.9% APR for 36 months. in today at El Paso Honda. Black Friday savings here at Oscar Leaser's Hyundai of El Paso. Check out these doorbuster deals. Save 5000 off MSRP on new Sonatas. That's our biggest discount of 2019. 5000 off MSRP on brand new Sonatas. Save thousands in interest with 0% APR for 72 months on 2020 Elantras and Santa Fe's. No interest for six years. Skip the lines. Hyundai of El Paso has hundreds of new Hyundais with Black Friday savings now through month end. My Oscar is such a good boy. An injured person can protect their interests by calling us. We are the rapid response team. We can put together a picture of what happened. There's nobody that's going to prepare a case the way that we prepare the case. We move immediately to preserve evidence, to preserve the marks at the scene, to preserve the vehicles, the cell phones, any data that can be obtained. Because that's our job is to find out what happened and be able to give the family answers. If your loved one has been seriously injured, call Glasheen, Baez, and Enderman now. The Viva Nissan Black Friday Mega Sale is on. Yes. Huge discounts. Yeah. 5000 off a new Viva Nissan Rogue. 10000 off Platinum Armada. 13000 off on new Titan XT. Hurry. Low payments. Yeah. 189 a month on Nissan Sentra. 229 a month on Altima.
Quality pre-owns, zero down and 99 a month. Yes, yes, yes. Viva Nissan. Black Friday mega sale. The yes address. Just off I-10 on Zaragoza at George Dieter. Come in. Pay the least. Black Friday savings here at Oscar Leaser's Hyundai of El Paso. Check out these doorbuster deals. Save 5000 off MSRP on new Sonatas. That's our biggest discount of 2019. 5000 off MSRP on brand new Sonatas. Save thousands in interest with 0% APR for 72 months on 2020 Elantras and Santa Fe's. No interest for six years. Skip the lines. Hyundai of El Paso has hundreds of new Hyundais with Black Friday savings now through month end. My Oscar is such a good boy. The ultimate Black Friday starts today. At El Paso Honda, every day in November is Black Friday. Drive a new 2019 HRV LX for $189 a month or get 1.9% APR for 36 months. Free in today at El Paso Honda. It's the biggest sale of the year going on now exclusively at Poe Toyota. Drive home a new 2019 Camry LE for $209 a month or get $2,500 cash back. You can get Black Friday savings all month long at Poe Toyota. Welcome back. Hope you're having a wonderful Thanksgiving. Thanks for joining us. We are live at the 83rd annual Oscar Leaser's Hyundai of El Paso Stumble Parade. Mr. Leaser here joining us along with Bernie Olivas. Mr. Leaser, how do you feel being a sponsor for this parade this year? Uh, it's uh, It's been a great experience, but you know one of the things we look out there and you see Los Estados of Chihuahua and you see Clint and you see New Mexico and you see El Paso. This shows that we are one community and right. one community together and uh, it's uh, I thank everyone that was all the floats and, and everyone that's been out here. It's been, uh, like I said, one united community, and that's an important message for El Paso. All right, very close-knit community. And out there on the parade route, we have our very own Estefania Schaefer. Hey, Estefania. Hey, guys. Yeah, I'm joined by Lizette. She's a fifth grader at Lamar Elementary, and she has, she has a pretty awesome spot along the route. You could say it's a um, front row seat, so we've been getting a really good look at, at the parade, what do you think, Lizette? Which ones have stood out to you? The, um, the Star Wars. Star Wars, for sure. The truck. The trucks, yeah. We just saw, actually, we were seeing the trucks pass by right now. And the bands. The bands. I was just going to say, the floats, awesome. You can definitely tell there's a lot of really hard work put into them. But the bands, you guys, the marching bands, they are what keeps the crowd going out here. Every time we have a marching band, the cheer, the cheering and just the crowd gets really excited. That's been really awesome. What about the El Paso electric float? That one was pretty, pretty cool. People really liked the, the song that was on that float. What do you think about, you know, being out here in the parade? The weather hasn't been that well, but what do you think? I think it's a great experience to a great time for a live after what happened in the shooting. It could make you happy and it really makes you hopeful and there's joy. That's beautiful, Lizette, definitely. That's very beautiful and I think that's a sentiment a lot of people do share. Big reason a lot of people do come to this parade. Thank you, Lizette. Happy Thanksgiving. We'll send it back to you guys. Thank you very much, Stephanie. And you're looking at the Texas All-Star Cheer Team. They have a big bobblehead cheerleader with a bow on the top of their float. The Texas Stars, they are a dance team. Uh, their colors, of course, you see are uniquely black, silver, and turquoise. And as that young girl just mentioned, uh, this float is actually very, uh, it's a special float because this is in memory of two of the parents uh, from this group, Jordan and Andrea Anchondo, they were lost in the mass shooting over at Walmart. So they have dedicated this float in their memory. And so we would like to stop and honor them too. Again, the Texas All-Star Cheer Team. And Bernie, you know, after what happened a couple of months ago, and Mr. Lisa too, feel free to chime in. After what happened, th this is exactly what our city needed, just to come together and just, just feel the love, right? Absolutely, uh, this city is a very strong city, and uh, we move forward. Uh, we're not going to let something like that keep this city from moving forward and being the city that we've always been known for as, as one of the safest cities in the country. And of course, this, again, this shows that we are moving forward. We're not standing still. We're not going to let somebody, somebody like that, you know, deter what we are about, and that is a huge family community. And like Oscar said, it's not only El Paso, but Juarez and southern New Mexico. It's just one huge, large community, and this, this just goes to show it right here. 
right there we're seeing immunize El Paso there. You can see a bobblehead going on with the bobblehead, a, a theme nurse. How do you feel about the bobblehead theme? It worked out pretty well, right? It oh, looks I think great. It was, I think it was fantastic. <laughs> <laughs> Like I you told know, Oscar last time we were talking, yeah, that wasn't a very good idea. And he says, why not? Because like, I didn't think of it. Somebody else thought about it. <laughs> but it was, uh, it, it was a tremendous uh, thing. And like I said, Joe Dabak, he's a tremendous employee. A tremendous employee. And, uh, and he came up with that. And I said, anybody ever done that before? He says, not that I can find one. I said, let's, let's go with it. And uh, I think it's turned out tremendous. Uh, I think, I think the, everybody at the parade, I think, enjoyed the theme and enjoyed all the bottle events. I know I did, and I know our staff was doing fantastic. And again, a big shout out to the volunteers who helped put a lot of these floats together. Uh, it's, like I said, it's not an easy task. It takes months and hours of work to put these things together. So, uh, yes, we're, we're very excited about the way the theme turned out. And Mr. Leeser, did you have a favorite bobblehead that you saw? You know, I knew, I knew you were going to throw a softball at me, and I appreciate that. But, uh, you know, my favorite float bobblehead was seeing my beautiful wife and my grandkids and my daughter-in-law and my son riding in our float. That just, you know, that's what life's about, family. And the, the see them on there was uh, just incredible. So the answer is yes, I had a uh, favorite float, and it was... All of them. <laughs> Good answer. <laughs> Good answer. All right, we're going to take one more quick break. We'll come back and wrap things up here at live at the 83rd Annual Oscar Leasers Hyundai of El Paso Sun Bowl Parade. We'll be right back. Black Friday savings here at Oscar Leasers Hyundai of El Paso. Check out these doorbuster deals. Save 5000 off MSRP on new Sonatas. That's our biggest discount of 2019. 5000 off MSRP on brand new Sonatas. Save thousands in interest with 0% APR for 72 months on 2020 Elantras and Santa Fe's. No interest for six years. Skip the lines. Hyundai of El Paso has hundreds of new Hyundais with Black Friday savings now through month end. My Oscar. He's such a good boy. The ultimate Black Friday starts today. At El Paso Honda, every day in November is Black Friday. Drive a new 2019 HRV LX for $189 a month or get 1.9% APR for 36 months. Hurry in today at El Paso Honda. It's the biggest sale of the year going on now exclusively at Poe Toyota. Drive home a new 2019 RAV LE for $249 a month or get $1,500 cash back. You can get Black Friday savings all month long at Poe Toyota. Black Friday savings here at Oscar Leasers Hyundai of El Paso. Check out these doorbuster deals. Save 5000 off MSRP on new Sonatas. That's our biggest discount of 2019. 5000 off MSRP on brand new Sonatas. Save thousands in interest with 0% APR for 72 months on 2020 Elantras and Santa Fe's. No interest for six years. Skip the lines. Hyundai of El Paso has hundreds of new Hyundais with Black Friday savings now through month end. My Oscar is such a good boy. It's the biggest sale of the year going on now exclusively at Poe Toyota. Drive home a new 2020 Corolla LE for $99 a month or get $1,500 cash back. You can get Black Friday savings all month long at Poe Toyota. The ultimate Black Friday starts today. At El Paso Honda, every day in November is Black Friday. Drive a new 2019 CRV LX for $199 a month or get 1.9% APR for 36 months. Hurry in today at El Paso Honda. Welcome back. We are live from the 83rd Annual Oscar Leasers Hyundai of El Paso Sumble Parade. Uh, you can see the crowds there saying hi. Uh, and you know what I love about El Paso? I can smell the tacos right now. <laughs> I can smell it and I hear cumbias. I, this is totally El Paso right now. <laughs> and uh, actually the parade has just wrapped up. We did have yes. to lose some of the flows due to the weather. There was some, you know, some of the... It's a couple of issues, nothing too bad though. So the, the parade has wrapped up now and we are just here enjoying the, the rest of our time with you. We do want to give a big shout out to our crew here, our KTSM crew, who put all of this together. They, uh, of course, not only sacrificing their mornings, but they've been out here since yesterday, yeah, early in the morning, setting all of this up. You can't see everything that we are looking at right now, but there is a huge setup of tents, wires and cables, microphones, cameras, everything around us. So we want to thank our crew very, very much and wish them a happy Thanksgiving as well. All right, Bernie, i got to ask you the theme for next year. Are you all going to come up with a theme? We'll Already? We'll start looking right after the game. <laughs> We're going to relax a little bit. We yeah. still have a, Sun Bowl Association still has a lot of events to, 
to yeah. put on. And like I said, we'll put another check mark on this one at tonight and start working the next one. And we'll we'll be ready in about January, February for the next uh, February for the next uh, for the next parade. Uh, don't like to remind everybody that uh, Tony the Tiger Sumbo will be on December the 30 31st at high noon. Uh, we'll have uh, some two great teams, one from the ACC, one from the Pac-12, and our options right now look very good. I'd like to invite everybody to come out. That has also be a great a, a great event. Yeah, another tradition for Absolutely. many El Pasoans. Well, yes. Bernie, the only thing I do want to say is that based on the great success of this uh, parade and the theme, that I hope uh, you leave it up to Joe again for next year instead <laughs> of... Uh, you know, you're saying you're going to think about it and stuff. I think just leave it up to Joe, and I think we'll have a wonderful, wonderful 84th annual Oscar Leisure Hyundai of El Paso Symbol Parade. I do most of the time. I just say, okay, that sounds good. But I do want to thank uh, all the people from El Paso, all our citizens that showed up, and I do encourage everybody to show up to the Tony the Tiger Symbol football game because it's always day. The Symbol Association does a great job of putting the parade on, and they do an incredible job of putting on a great football game. So I encourage everybody to be at the Tony the Tiger fo uh, Symbol football game. Uh, the 31st of December. And thank you all. You all did thank a wonderful you. job. Thank you so Enjoyed much. having dinner with you all last night. Yes. Uh, great conversation. And you all do a wonderful, wonderful job. And I want to thank you all for the professional and incredible job you did today. We appreciate, appreciate that, that sir. Yes. Thank you so much. Well, Happy yeah. Thanksgiving. Happy Thanksgiving. Happy on behalf Thanksgiving. of Oscar Lee, Sir Bernie Olivas, Natasha Paloma, uh, Monica Cortez, Stephanie Seyfried, I'm Daniel Marin. We hope you have a great Thanksgiving. We will see you at 5 and 10 tonight on KTSM. Have a good day, everybody. Bye. Happy Thanksgiving. Happy Thanksgiving. God bless everyone. Thank you.